Oh, we've got all sorts we have. I'm so lucky to have you as my friend. People always want to ask me questions about you, and they'll buy me drinks just to hear the stories. That where I, I like grew up, everyone had tats. And I hate Not most like things, yours, though. <laughs> that saying that's some crap. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we can all dance if we want to. <laughs> I didn't realise drilling had another meaning until I joined that. Yeah. Where did you get that top from? It's surprisingly stylish. This is a restricted area. You have to leave. I'm not sure what arms are. your belly with our food stores. great deliver it and then come back to see me when you're done These prices just can't... welcome to the sanctuary the armory is at your disposal i have arranged the room to store it in with the new, I always say, though I prefer to keep the old handy as well. You never know when you might find a use for the old. You can use this to invite friends of yours here. Business. We have a shortage of some goods. Office Great person. money for anyone who can Business help out. Is pretty good, but I'm sure you can help to make it even better. If melee combat is your game, look no further. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double checked. I don't believe it! You're a hero! I mean, you're a real hero! The hero wakes. Long had he harboured thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it! Philistine. 
So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be cool. Looks like old Clem is up. Hail, hero! I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. It's a thousand gold per plus. So, a plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I've I oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. Bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. I am Mildred, a humble milkmaid. To brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman. Strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. What about the princess? But she didn't. And that she's really hot. Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. What do you think, guys? Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Nice. Fra oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Excellent. The hero's gonna talk. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. Well, that's it. No clues to solve or anything. Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey! No spoilers. <laughs> the hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Ah, now you're talking. And so the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge, and far more exciting than the rabbits. Yeah, a bit predictable, though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realise you can't fight them, though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way.
The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the Princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! I am the evil Baron. And the Princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, uh, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Hollow men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, 
Your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> And the killer monsters are... Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute. But also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben, you... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. <sighs> I thought the hero was done for that time. I always root for the underdog, or under chicken, as it were. That was just gross. Why do you guys always want to put chickens in everything? It's just weird. Come on, stalwart hero, you can't let that bird get away with that. And so the mighty hero triumphed over the fire-breathing demonic, um, chickens of doom! Anyway, on he ran, seeking a way out of these dark and gloomy caverns. The hero emerged into the light to find the evil baron at bay. Help me, hero! You're my only hope! I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer! My elite hob guard will take care of you! They hunger for human flesh! <laughs> Excellent! Keep doing that, so Dead! Stop killing my guard! You fiend! I should have paid for better elite guards! <laughs> Die! Stop that pop killing! Blast you! Be a sport! And let them kill you! I should have paid for better elite guards. Stop that hob slaying! Just let them kill you, damn it! This cannot be! Stop killing my guards, you beast! For my hob guard, you puny maggot! You can't defeat my elite guards! Stop that hob king! Blast you! 
The Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now stood between him and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword that is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. The sword, the bane sword, it cannot be. No, I am slain. <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. But only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death streaks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after, and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Great work, my friend. You are fantastic. You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeon. <laughs> If I may say so, sir, you have succeeded most admirably. Well, that went well. Gaining a large measure of <laughs> a bit of gaming. That. The When's the next session? Same I time next week. Be a good Hang time on, to where's the orb? That Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? Revel acquaintances like to call into play on transference. I think that hero kept it. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artifact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. Dear Mark, Jim, and Ben, you wet no soggy brain gamer geeks, you sad cheese faced nerds, why don't you get a life and stop all that wimpy role playing? Yours sincerely, Arthur. P.S. How are your girlfriends? Don't bother because you haven't got any.
We don't rent beds out here. You have to go somewhere else. So which one is Jim? The really stupid one? No, that's Ben, isn't it? Oh, well, they're all soft in the head if you ask me. I got a letter the other day from that bastard Arthur. He called me... Uh, well, it was so rude, I wouldn't like to say. I give hard cash for your unwanted goods on the spot. You frighten me.
I've never known the economy to be doing so well. I've put the prices right If you right send up. lots of gold, I can use it to buy more supplies. So come on, spend. Hello, dog. Our best sale ever. Ah, that item is discounted. Enjoy. Did you see those three they idiots talking about like fantasy realms and magic orbs? They're like children. Ah, the Rebel Prince. I'm on my way to the castle to report. I'm telling you, I downed three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I've never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. Well, will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, here he is. Ask him yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a prince, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on, but we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here, you'll have to wear this. Great! Where's my costume? What, I still can't come? What, even after the three hollow men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. <sighs> God. I knew I should have gone up to the castle with Swifty. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Whatever you do, please don't let Mr. Finn follow you. I've had enough of him for one day. I said before that we soldiers told these stories so as not to miss home. But in truth, I have never felt the sense of that word in any place I have visited. And certainly not in... If you're not too...
I just can't keep stocked up on some of these items. I'll give you a good price. I used to open myself to the world when it was different, happy, prosperous, peaceful. But that world is gone. And today's is a tragic and horrible place. I find myself feeling protective, sad, closed off. Is there anything left that is not evil and corrupt or broken and miserable? Anyone who is still innocent, pure, happy. The sight of one such person, no matter how small, would do so much for my spirits. I would open myself to the world again. Nothing you can express could give me what I want. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh. Are you married? Perhaps the two of you together could create something beautiful and pure? I fear that I shall never look upon beauty or innocence again. Is there anything you could show me? Anything you could create for me? Ah, hello. I hope everything is in order. That suit should allow you to blend in anywhere, so long as anywhere is a fancy masquerade ball attended by high-ranking members of society. Wear it in any other environment, you'd probably be slightly conspicuous. I suppose that ensemble is a viable solution if you've grown bored with your other clothes and your gender.
Well, if you prefer it. I fear that I shall never look upon beauty or innocence again. You can use these mannequins to store your current look in order to easily select it later. Well, that's said. Uh, you've received a new sword. Burning a foe can have a profound psychological impact on his fellows, unless they're heartless brigands or mindless animals, which probably encompasses the vast majority of your foes. Still, it will look dramatic. Changing your weapon? When you need to attack a target from a great distance. Any other... Business? 